In this video, we will consider how to determine, whether the matrix rows are linearly dependent or not. In general, one can apply different approaches, for testing linear independence of matrix rows. For example, the rank of a matrix corresponds to the maximal number of linearly independent rows or columns of a given matrix. A common approach to finding the rank of a matrix is to reduce the matrix to a simpler form, generally row echelon form, by elementary row operations. Therefore, we can use a reduced row echelon form to determine the linearly independent rows. Additionally, we can find the dependence coefficients if matrix rows are linearly dependent, which could be considered as an advantage. In the case, when we work with a square matrix, then the rows of matrix are linearly independent if, and only if, the determinant of the matrix is not equal to zero. To begin with, let's recall some definitions from theory. The definition says, that a set of vectors is linearly independent, if the given vector equation, has only the trivial solution. Which means that all coefficients denoted as alpha are equal to zero. However, if at least one of the coefficients is not equal to zero, it implies that a linear combination is called non-trivial. And vectors are linearly dependent. In the following example, we will apply this definition in order to check whether the rows of a given matrix are linearly independent. For this purpose, we will have to transform a matrix to a set of vectors. To demonstrate it, in general, suppose that a matrix of order n m is given. First, we take the first column, and derive the first vector that includes values from the rows. Then, we take the second column, and derive the second vector that includes values from the rows, respectively. We continue in the same fashion, and finish with the last column. It is now seen that, in a result, we have the same number of vectors, as the dimension of matrix columns. So, having a set of vectors derived, we can check, whether these vectors are linearly independent, using a linear combination of these vectors, according to the definition that was already presented. Now, let's consider the example. Suppose the matrix A is given. Let's determine, whether the rows of a matrix are linearly dependent. First, we derive a linear combination of vectors, which represent the rows of a given matrix. As one can see, we have three vectors, in total, that are multiplied by coefficients alphas respectively. In particular, we are asking if the homogeneous vector equation has a non-trivial solution. Here, the matrix A is rewritten. Since it is not really necessary to write augmented matrices when solving homogeneous systems, we continue with the matrix A only. We now will find the matrix in reduced row echelon form, that is row equivalent to the given matrix A, by performing elementary operations. First, we add the first row multiplied by negative 3, to the second row. Then, we just add together the first and the third rows. Now, we add the second row to the third row multiplied by 2. Finally, we can identify the reduced row echelon form. Here we go. This says that alphas are not equal 0 and we can determine the relation between them. So, there exist non-trivial solutions. And the rows of the given matrix are linearly dependent. Now let's consider other matrix, which is denoted by B. In order to check if the rows of given matrix are linearly independent, we derive its linear combination in the same way. We take the given matrix B and after a series of elementary operations, we get the reduced row echelon form. It implies that all coefficients alphas are equal to zero, and we can conclude, that the rows of a given matrix B are linearly independent. Moreover, for illustration purposes, let's compute the determinant for both matrix A and matrix B. 
we can observe that the determinant of matrix B is not equal to zero, and this shows that the rows of this matrix are linearly independent, and of course, vice versa. Unfortunately this rule can be applied only for a square matrix. Thank you for your attention.